so hello and hello it's been such a long time since i have done this but hello and welcome to my channel for those who don't know me i'm it's royalty i am a nursing student and i like to do hair videos so if you haven't subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up to make sure that i know you saw this video so i can continue to bring these videos out for you um if you hear any banging in the background there's construction going on in a house like next to mine so pay no attention to that so i'm gonna make this a short introduction because i want to get straight to this video and i know you want me to get straight to this video so let's get into it For those of you who do not know, because there may be a lot of you who do not know my channel, I am a nursing student and I am in a ADN program, so an associative degree of nursing. So that means that I'm in a two-year program. So you can do like your two-year two program and have your ADN. You can go for four years, get your BSN. Those are your first two choices with starting out with nursing. And then you have to have your BSN before you can go to your master's or higher up. So why did I choose to go ADN versus BSN first going out? Because I'm still going to have to get my BSN. So, there are a few reasons. One reason, I had just graduated, so I do have a bachelor's degree in Spanish and psychology, and I had just graduated, so I wasn't ready to go back to school for another four years. One reason why I did not do BSN, I wasn't ready to go back to school for another four years, I wasn't ready to pay those prices, Reason number two, financially, I wasn't ready to pay those prices. My parents had already financed my way through a bachelor's degree, you know, thinking that I'm going to medical school. Those are my thoughts. And then that changed. So I didn't want them to dish out another like couple of $20,000 for me to go for a career change, basically, even though I hadn't really started one. And so the community college near me had gotten great reviews. They, I've always heard it was a really good school, that their students get hired in this schools, school system, in this um, hospital systems that we have. We have two of them. And that they really like to hire students from my school because they we just get such a good like foundation. So I was like, okay, uh, let me do that. It's a community college, so it'll be a bit cheaper. I can work and go to school. I don't have to be on campus because it's community college. So I was like, let's do that. So I didn't want to go back to school for another four years. I didn't want to pay for a four-year institution. Those are my two main reasons. And then I got into my program, and our director was like, you made a good decision because... You want to get your associate's degree to get into the door. I'm going to take the exact same national testing that someone in the BSN program is going to take. I can apply for a lot of the exact same jobs. And so she said, once you get your foot in the door, you have your job. You get you got your two years of schooling. You go to your job. Then you further your education because a lot of times the places that you work will have a scholarship program or tuition reimbursement so I can go and continue my learning while you know my work pays for it and my work is going to pay me back for it for working there getting my education and giving them another year or two so it kind of it lets my job pay for it and the two hospital systems, they both do that. They'll both 
I think they're actually scholarship programs, so they'll give you money. So it's not even reimbursement. Like, they'll pay for it, like, help you pay for it. So that is very, very important. So that helps with that. And then, as I've been doing research, there's a lot of programs that will allow you to take a current bachelor's degree and turn it into a, a BSN so that you don't have to go for those extra two years. So I wouldn't have to go for an extra two years to get those courses. I would just need to get the nursing-based courses. I'm pretty sure I need to get another statistics. I know public health is part of it and maybe another one or two courses that I would need so I can finish in probably about a year instead of two years because I already have my bachelor's degree. And then there is an online program. I forgot the school's name, but they have where um, if you currently have your bachelor's degree, they have a program where you can turn it into a doctorate. So you'll go, basically in the whole program, you go through the steps. So I'll do those few courses that I need to make it into a bachelor's. Then I'll take the courses that I need to make it into a master's take the courses that I need to make it to a doctorate and I learned that there is a huge huge project like at the end of your doctorate that that project itself depending on how you work can take a whole year in itself if not more so that as well so it definitely will take time to further myself but when you're at an institution and they're financing with your furthering is that even is that a sentence? Oh, you get what I mean. When they're financing your come up, you know, why not do that? Why not? So if I would have went to nursing school out of high school, I would have just went for my BSN. Because that way, you know, I still could get my little college experience. That money would be like worth it in a way. But after just having a college experience and then thinking about going right back, it was just a lot to think about. And yeah, but that brings me to the end of my video. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment them down below. Um, if you need me to clarify anything, please comment it down below. But these are my reasonings why I had why I chose the road or the route that I chose. My journey is not going to be the same as everyone else's. And you know what? Something else might fit you a bit more. What I would say for advice is do your research. Do your research. There's so many different programs out there where they have like an accelerated bachelor's degree. Um, I have a friend in Maryland and she... There's like some accelerated like masters where if you have something, they'll give you something. It, which she told me, I was like, you mean I could have done that? Like I could have done that? So do your research. Don't rush into this. Don't rush into making a choice. Um, really look into what kind of programs are out there, where they are. Are they online? If they're online, how do you work out your clinical placements and things like that? So really do your research and know that if you do choose ADN, you're taking the exact same licensure exam as a BSN. And once you've taken that once, you do not have to take it over again. So when I go for my BSN, I don't have to retake the NCLEX. Still only have to take it once. So that's really good so if you have any questions let me know if you want a video on why I chose nursing over uh, pre-med or medical school let me know and if you want to know like in that video I can also say um, if I want to further nursing or if I want to eventually go to medical school just let me know holla at me and let me know so this has brought me to the end of this video 
feel like it was a little bit awkward just a little bit awkward because i have not done this in a wow man have i missed it but go ahead and give me a thumbs up give me some encouragement be like you're doing good Yay. and i will see you in my next video bye